Hey everyone, this is Pharaoh Silver, the Pharaoh of Beer Money Finance, back with a Beer Money Roundtable. And joining me, uh, panelists today, y'all know AJ Downtown, uh, hung out Howdy. last night in the uh, big mini game. Well, last night as of this recording. Um, y'all remember Shane Kelly? Hey SSC, everybody. SSC Kelly and Bronze Dragon Gaming. And Bronze, congratulations on 2,000 subscribers, by the way. It's awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah. Very good. Very that, good. Yeah, it's great. It's awesome. It's great to see the community growing. Um, I'm def you know, when when we started this like a year, about two years ago, I did not expect that we grow to where we are today. But yeah, I know it sounds cliche, but I really am enjoying it so far. It's it's been a it's been a crazy ride. What's not to enjoy here? <laughs> yeah. Right. So and what I've what I've noticed is that um D Bronze Dragon, he offers like a little different perspective yes. on Atlas Earth than you do. So they yeah. complement each other really well. Yeah. And it's very it's very similar to me that like a lot of people talk about like as far as strategy. Um, people tell me that I give one strat I give it one strategy from one viewpoint. Tasty Wallet will give a strategy from another viewpoint. Um, it, it's kind of that way. You kind of just mix and match. You know, you don't have to follow me a lot. There's a lot of people that I also recommend. Um Big re big reason why I wanted to bring Bronze Dragon Gaming on more and more often as well is because he's really good at this kind of stuff too. He really is. So, and also he's got a lot of Web three perspectives that uh, yeah. we will definitely talk about in another day. But for uh, but for this video, we're going to be talking about the good, bad, and ugly of the Atlas Earth monthly challenges as we well as of um i think this is going to go up on saturday which is the last day of this month the very first month of the challenges um i really don't have that much in sort of notes today guys uh it pretty much we were just going to talk about like how we felt regarding the uh monthly challenges and i think am i the only one that was free tier did everyone I, else? Uh, no I, no no bronze did not i didn't subscribe yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, Shane, you did, and yeah, AJ, I know you did. I, I subscribed, yeah. Yeah, so we got two people here who were on the free tier and two people who were on the premium pass. Um, my, I'm, I myself will be on the premium pass on December, though. Yay! Uh, yeah, so, uh, so I'm just, so just going to check. Um, are we all going to be on the premium pass in December? I'm not canceling it. Okay, you're not. I have not made up my mind, and in fact, I've got a big but to put in there. I am yeah. free to play this month, but tomorrow uh, I am going to be doing a review of where I stand on the ladder, which is like the last challenge. I'm not going to be able to complete the ladder, but I'm thinking about going ahead and biting off that $15 uh, and back subscribing oh. to uh, reap all of the uh, Atlas bucks, which is be like 1200 Atlas bucks, which would be a oh, good wow. value. So oh, I haven't good. covered that, but um, I'm still thinking about December. Oh, so what, so what, how many, how many uh, levels have you gone through? You said all of them, but like one or. Correct. Um, at this point, yeah. Uh, with before the end of the month, I will have all of the challenges done except for the very last one. <laughs> oh wow! By challenges, you mean ladder? Correct. Right? Okay. Okay. Correct. So you basically five hundred is what you're. So, so so basically, you're missing the LPU, and that's it. I will miss the final prize, but I think the value is there if you figure out the. Um, if you just went and bought Atlas Bucks, the value, what you're getting for the $15 for back subscribing is there. Uh, obviously, at, it's uh, at a certain point, it becomes worth it. And I think I'm past that point. So I, I'm um, glad you brought that up because that's something I think a lot of people miss. They look at that final prize and it's like, I, I, it seems like a lot of people have the attitude it's final prize or bust. If I don't yeah. get that LPU, it's not worth it. And you're taking it from the perspective of, hey, look at all the Atlas bucks I'm getting for the money that I'm spending. Yeah, you're right. It's one of the best deals per dollar buying. Yeah, Atlas at bucks. um, at a it's a thousand and thirty, and that's not counting the diamonds. Uh, at a thousand and thirty yeah. Atlas bucks, like it might actually be worth it to pay the fifteen dollars actually, because I think the Atlas bucks per dollar for that is actually better than even Explorers Club if you get to the point yeah. that Bronze did. So. so so to me the the lpu the legendary parcel upgrade is the least valuable thing in the entire 
ladder. Like really? that to me is it, yes. I I find very little value in having the legendary. I, I'm going to go for it uh, because of where I am. But but the, the amount that you get from it, I'd rather have the 1,200 Atlas bucks or whatever and go buy some more parcels with it. That's more valuable to me than having the legendary parcel upgrade. That that to me is just a a a a. a it's a show thing. It's just to. It's just for show. It's very little practical value for me. And you don't need the badge either because you're at 101. So. <laughs> no, I'm I'm now at like 106 because I bought some badges for the uh, for the challenge. Well, I mean, running the calculations regarding the LPU though, like if you put it on a common, which I don't know why you wouldn't put it on anything but a common, unless you have no common parcels. Um, it's still like 212 equivalent Atlas bucks. I think 212 to 215. When I ran the math calculation, I'd rather so. have the 200 Atlas books. <laughs> really? You know, yeah. It, 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 and I know, I know something I thought about doing with mine. I've got, and by the way, I've already completed. Uh -huh. mine. I clean completed mine on like the 20th. Um, and so I have it sitting in my inventory. Um, I haven't placed it yet because I want to find that special place where it gets high visibility and I want to put it up for sale. That's what mm. I'm hoping to do. Cause I'm like AJ, I'd rather have the Atlas books. Right, right. Yeah. That's interesting. I didn't think about putting that parcel up for sale. Will the legendary parcel upgrade icon go with the sale? Do we know that answer? I'm sure it will. I'm I don't know why sure it would. Well, yeah. Because what, what we're trying to get um, Atlas Earth to do, and we've and I've had many discussions with with Manning on this, is trying to get it give us the ability to be able to pick that back up the LPU since we're spending so much on them and they're and they're trying yeah. to put such a high value on them. They really need to give us the ability when we place it, have that ability to pick it back up and put it back into our inventory. If somebody moves or something, they should be able to take something like that with them. Mm. Um, so I Agreed. may just keep it in my inventory for now until because Manning says they're open to that idea until they come out with it. Because I don't want to place it somewhere and then it doesn't sell. Because then I would rather just pick it back up and place it maybe um, at my home or someplace like that. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Um, um... So uh, for me, I only got to the seventh level this month. So I am definitely the furthest back from the rest of you. Hey, Fer, do, do you mind if I share my screen of my phone? I can put it on the same thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, it should show up on the Discord. Yeah, let, let, me, go ahead. let me go ahead and, and share it. Go ahead and do that, yeah. If it's, okay with, closer, the, if it's okay with the rest of you. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Just, just so that people can see what we're talking about live. Okay, let me here. let me go and watch right. watch stream here, real quick. All right, you should be able to see it now. Should be yeah shareable. Oh, geez, there we go. Okay, got it. All right, so what we're talking about is, of course, the ladder here, right here. When we go straight into the challenges, um, and and we have all the Atlas bucks that we can do. The the green side being the free tier side that you don't have to pay for and the yellow of course being the the premium yet to pay for 10 bucks if you do it in advance or 15 bucks if you do it at any point during the month once the month has started right um and down at the bottom we have the legendary parcel upgrade which is where i'm currently trying to get i'm on that very last ladder tier um and and i should be able to do it we've got uh, according to this three days and nine hours and there are a couple of these challenges that i can complete in time to to get me that um, um so so of the challenges which ones do you think were the most helpful for you in achieving in, in achieving your goals basically because all of you i think all of you are yeah all of you are done or close to done i'm still stuck on the seventh level and probably will remain on the seventh level but um yeah for for those of you who are done like you three or close by it um what are your secrets basically for this Uh, for me, it was AMP. Uh, AMP pays out very well with that, and then they they ran a uh, a bonus day of AMP this this last uh, month, and I I capitalized on that. I went to a couple different places. I even bought from the same place twice or three times over the course of the day, um, you know, uh, to get that AMP uh, purchases in there, and they paid out very well. In both yeah, Atlas I, books and points. I agree on that. The the AMP uh, seemed to, uh, I guess they put more points behind it because um, they probably make more more off yeah. of it. But uh, 
that. And for me, I was able to get further through because I had already planned a tier jump. Uh, I, I had already planned a multi-tier jump in this month and it just kind of coincided and I made it work out. Uh, I had to change my strategy uh, as far as doing the tier jump and it kind of elongated. It took a week in between because, you know, you had to do the the, the first challenge, then the second challenge, then I had to wait for a while to get to that third challenge of buy parcels. But uh, I think uh, just having the Atlas Bucks saved up to do a multi-tier jump myself helped me through it as well. And I'm probably the only one here that needed badges. Um, so I was able to do most of the badge levels. I did do like the state level one because I hadn't not even bought my own state. Um, and then I did the, I did all th all four. Yeah, I did all four of the the city levels um, to help me get there as well. Um, like AJ, I took advantage of the AMP program. Um, really looking, I, I took a, a rainbow ultra. Hey, I hope you guys don't mind. I'm giving him a plug. He's got a website that's on the AMP program. Yep. Um, and he is well, and he's okay with this. He's, he's got single packs of cards that you can buy Pokemon and that, um, new Disney. Game. Lorcana. Lorcana. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. you. And he does not mind if you just buy them a single pack at a time. They're like five or six bucks a piece, um, with shipping. He'll send it to you. Um, cause I asked him up front, like, Hey, do you mind if I do like 10 of these transactions? He's like, Nope, go ahead. That's what I got him on there for. So, <laughs> um, he's getting a benefit from it. I am too, uh, complete, completing my task and I get Atlas bucks. Um, his shop is one of those that'll give you three per dollar. And that's on a normal day on a oh, the premium three was normal. day. Three was normal. Yeah. Okay. I thought that was a uh, three on a triple that I saw the no, screenshot for. You get nine on the triple. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep, he's got he's got one of the better deals for AMP that that's out there. All right, I, I went and went to AutoZone because it's the same three to three to one. Um, but AutoZone or Advanced Auto, or course of oil, uh, oil basically. Yeah, I just bought oil one quarter at a time. <laughs> <laughs> I will probably be doing that. Um, I think it was Advanced Auto Parts, but Advanced Auto Parts advanced, was only advanced. Yeah, but Advanced was only one, isn't it? Oh, three in the no. triple. Three in the triple. Oh, okay. uh, let me oh, go check. Out. Yeah. I, let me go check right now. While he's doing that, I also took advantage of the merch store. Oh, you're right. As you, as you can see, my hoodie, I've got my Atlas Earth hoodie I, on. I think it was three on um, the triple. You're right. That's what I did. I yeah. got three on the triple day. That's exactly what happened. Yeah. I used the merch store as well. Uh, last weekend, I had a. I have my usual live stream on Saturday morning, and we did a special I. Uh, I was giving away some other stuff, but I gave away... The only thing I can give away uh, for Atlas Earth is uh, the only thing I could think of uh, for my members were, or for the people who watched the show was something off the merch store. So I'm like, ah, I can just send it to them. So that's what I did, and I ended up getting credit for it. <laughs> Let's say I look forward to December 2nd, right? Oh, uh, yeah. That is the announced date of the, oh, the yeah. 5X... Uh, Oh, yeah. event yeah. for the the AMP. Uh, for Annie Ann's and Salad Works, please. <laughs> and, and the Atlas Merch Store. Guess who's yeah. getting Christmas gifts from the Atlas Merch Store? <laughs> and here's the thing about the Merch Store. Um, you're getting, what, six per dollar right now without the, yeah. the premium mm -hmm. day? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That convert that turns into 30 per dollar. And right. that you might as well, instead of buying Atlas Buck packs, you're getting a better deal through their merch store, you're getting more Atlas bucks. Plus, you're getting a merchandise. Product. Yeah, you get a product. Yeah. So it's going to be a um, good day. I I may plug a thousand bucks into it. Um, I don't know if I'll try to. Re I might just wear the stuff. You know, like I'm wearing my hoodie. Maybe get get a few different colors of this hoodie. Get a couple of their shirts. Um, and hopefully they'll add some things to it as well. I mean, with the merch store in general, it's like if you're getting thirty Atlas bucks to a dollar, and like. Mm -hmm. Uh, like there are some atlas like I, I think you might have mentioned this there are some atlas buck packages that aren't even getting that same ratio i don't even yeah. think that hundred thousand dollar pack is that ratio no it's a, it? i think it's a little more i'm let me double check that one uh, it's it, 3. no it's 32 million, right yeah 32 atlas bucks to a oh. dollar. it is by a little more it is by a bit more the that one um 
Uh, you, you guys can keep talking. Let me find out what pack you'd have to buy to match that rate. <laughs> so I just put up on my, my iPhone screen right there the, the Atlas Earth mug. 20 bucks for that, right? It's it's six times that, so you get 120 Atlas bucks uh, uh, right now just for buying that mug, right? You do... <laughs> you do that on the 5x day, you're going to 5 times 120, that's, uh, what is it, 600 Atlas bucks? Yep, for, 600. And you get a mug for, for, for 20 bucks. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm actually, like, it, it's making their merch store seriously um, tempting, even for me, who's normally a bit of a miser. Uh, <laughs> uh, 600 Atlas 100. bucks for 20 bucks plus a mug. I, I, I that, That's a good deal right there. And if you was to go into the Apple Store, you can you can pay fifteen dollars and only get three hundred and fifteen Atlas bucks. Okay, yeah. so actually, only the hundred thousand dollar package would have uh, a higher rate of Atlas bucks. I thought. Yeah, not even the fifty thousand. The fifty thousand one is like twenty nine point nine something. So we're gonna buy a lot of mugs. Yeah. <laughs> well, <it's>... I, <laughs> I, I don't know if everybody needs. To... I don't so, think I've talked to you guys before about what my strategy is. My strategy in, in doing beer, beer money in general was to save. So that way I'm not spending it on my own personal account in Atlas Earth. So I, I was planning on buying that $2,000 um, AB pack, which is like $54,000. i am like, why put two grand in that when I can put that same amount into the merch store and get way more Atlas bucks out of the deal? Plus merchandise yeah. that you can send to your friends. Yeah, I don't know. What I don't know what I'm going to do with all this. Stuff, I, right? I I don't know if I have friends that would be interested in this one. Honestly, outside of the Beer Money Network, of course. Or you know, you have some giveaways for your Beer Money Engine on occasion. There you go. I um, yeah yeah good idea. Yeah, it, it might be, but I mean, I just I mean, I do have an old Bridge Money shirt that I was going to use for a giveaway as well. So maybe I might. Why would this be no different? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, this wouldn't be a bad idea. I have like a, I have like a uh, pink bridge money shirt here. Um, I'll have to find it, but it's like, uh, and then um, it becomes a business expense. Something about tacos. (laughs) That's what I know. You have that. We do have that tournament coming up. So maybe every vote would count for a drawing or something. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll, We'll see. I might, I might, uh, well, well, the thing is with the, well, we'll talk about the tournament a little bit, but I mean, like down the line, but I've been trying to get, I have some plans for that and you guys are going to like them. Uh, not worried about that right now. Um, so, so yeah, that, those were some of the good, uh, regarding this and we can go back and go over some of these as well. Oh, one more thing before we get to the bad, um, badges. So which, and this could be counting as the bad, I don't know, but did you need badges in order to get through your challenges not not shane i know shane did but bronze and aj because i noticed aj you have a purchase state badge but you don't have a purchase city badge uh no i don't have a purchase yeah yeah the city ones i went and bought because there are plenty of cities around uh there's no state anywhere around me that i haven't already got the badge from yeah right it it just doesn't exist um i mean i'm already full i mean yeah yeah, so you did so, buy so you did buy a few for I, this challenge. Yeah, I mean down at the bottom, my last couple were just bought recently because you know I needed something for for the uh, the challenges. Right. Um, it was it worthwhile? I probably spent the money that I made from all this on badges. Yeah, I don't know. And you never know; they may not be worthless because I Manning has been dropping hints about maybe adding an extra tier since people have been buying badges up like crazy during this challenges. They're actually now talking about it. Yeah. I had never know. I had talked about it on the stream that if, and again, I hope they never have to, but if they had to nerf something and keep it practical with Atlas earth, if, if there's something that they had to nerf in order to like, you know, cut costs by a little bit, I would rather instead of it being 5% per level, Make it four percent per level and add an extra tier. That's twenty five percent. That's like two hundred or three hundred badges or something. I get it. A lot of people are not going to be happy about that, but I do feel like that would be if they needed a way to nerf an acceptable and, nerf. Yeah, an acceptable yeah. nerf. In my opinion, it's it's a lot better than um, the treasure hunt 
issues that Upland was having, AJ. <laughs> the game we shall not name. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Old Voldemort over there. Um, so, so yeah. And I actually didn't need badges either, to be honest. Um, I'm way over the 2,500 at this point because I've, I've finished the, the boost one, the non super rent boost one. Yeah. Um, I, I've got the super rent boost coming up on Thursday. I'm sure I'll finish that. So sure. for me, it was doing the badges just so I could see what was behind it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I wanted that next survey level or I wanted that next arcade level. And so, you know, and, and every doggone time it kept popping up with mini games, you know. Yeah. So I think you did something that we didn't. Like you did the the travel, didn't you? I did, did one you... level of travel. So there was um That's a good point. I'll admit I bought a five dollar room in the Philippines. You were I, one I of those guys. Yeah, I am. Oh, but you couldn't I didn't think it was you that big of a deal. That, yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, you couldn't do that anymore. You can't do that yeah, now. Right, you can't. And at the time I looked at it where I'm giving somebody five bucks and I don't plan, I'm not, I'm just not going to use the room. I'm just not going to show up, but they're getting, you know, they're still getting my money. I didn't think it was a big deal. Well, it turned out to be because there, because it wasn't just me that did it. There were probably a million people that did it, <laughs> you know, uh, because somebody posted it on Reddit and there was like all kinds of yeah. people that were taking advantage of it. Yeah. So they had a, it might not have been a big deal, but it did win that many people because it looked bad. People now, I approached the United it. States buying that many buying hotels room in, in the Philippines. It looked shady. Yeah, it, it it made it made things look a little off, and it could hurt their travel. Uh, it could hurt the reputation right. of their travel, whatever travel. Um, right. What did yeah. Manning call it? It, it was like a travel um, vendor and Booker. Uh, not not Booker. Basically, Atlas Travel is not like. Uh, Expedia or Trivago or all that they're kind of just like a mishmash of different uh travel companies kind of coming together to get you the lowest price on travel I just forgot the name of it on top of my head really I thought it was just a wrapper for Expedia I'm yeah, pretty sure it is. oh he oh it's just a wrapper for I'm pretty Expedia. sure it's just a wrapper for Expedia yes the, the oh. rates look awfully doggone so the, the, like it's Expedia pretty travel. much Expedia yeah. Oh, I'll just stop using Expedia then. <laughs> so, sorry, Bruns, I you've been trying to talk. Sorry. Yeah, I just um, I approached it a little bit different. First of all, my travel is sitting because I knew I wasn't going to travel anywhere. It's just sitting. I left that there. And as far as the city and state badges, I'm sitting at t. Um, I'm at a point where I'm going to use my Atlas bucks for another tier jump next. So I'm sitting at tier. I didn't want to spend them on. Uh, city or state badges. First of all, I'm not going out of state. I have the state badges near me, uh, so that was not an option. I'm not going to drive four hours just to get a state badge. Um, as far as a city badge, I picked up one, which was enough to do the first tier, but after that, um, I'm kind of just saving my Atlas Bucks for another tier jump uh, as far as parcels go because um, I'm kind of in a battle for mayor for my area. I'm still mayor, or I became mayor during this process, but I have somebody neck and neck with me. So I'm keeping the Atlas Bucks for another tier jumps with parcels uh, instead of spending it on the actual badges. Uh, I'll concentrate on that when I uh, get up above the 600 mark somewhere. Yeah, I was going to ask, where, where are you at in your, your um, tiers? Are you at like the 6X, 8X? Eight, eight where are you at right now? I'm still, I'm sitting right at the limit for 10X. You're at 10X, okay. So yeah, and at that point, yeah, the, the tier jumps are smaller, so it's better to wait a little bit, yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't disagree with that. And I'm sitting at the 4X, um, which technically means my next tier jump, I should be boosting myself up to the 101 um, badge level, but I think I'm going to, I'm just going to save them because this is that kind of a, this challenge is adjusting my strategy just a little bit. Oh, because definitely. now I'm thinking, if I'm thinking to myself, all right, every month I need to buy some badges. Well, maybe I don't need to go to 101 because I want the reward that the challenges are, are giving me. So I may save that room. Um, I'm at like 76 badges right now. Um, I'll keep accumulating them as I keep going through these challenges. Um, so having and, and we're at the point where I don't care. I'm just buying. <laughs> so uh, so I know a lot of people were not happy though with the monthly challenges in general, and we should probably discuss like some of the bad parts of this as well. There were two major issues that people had problems with with the monthly challenges. Um, right. So the first one we'll talk about 
and this seems to be the one that everyone talks about a little bit more, is the um, n people did not like that the monthly challenges were pay to win. And I wanted to just kind of be very upfront with this as somebody who is on the seventh level right now. I did. I benefited the least from these monthly challenges out of all of you. I, I think that's pretty clear, right? Even uh, on the free tier, seventh level, I'm probably not getting that eighth level. But if you count the amount of Atlas Bucks that I made just from not spending any money this month and just doing you know the, the little bit that I currently have done, I still made enough Atlas Bucks to buy a parcel. That is one more parcel than I had made last month. And you didn't change anything you did, right? I you changed just played nothing. Like normal. Absolutely yeah, you nothing. Just played like normal. Yeah, yeah. I, I okay. did not I did not even rush it by like doing an amp or I didn't even rush it by um buying a badge or anything. Or or I reinvested one dollar. That is the only thing that I've changed in my strategy. One dollar. That was it. You at least do it during the thirty three yes. uh conversion day. Yes. There you go. So at least there's that. Yes, I, I did. That's the only thing that I did. Um, throughout this challenge was the one dollar reinvestment uh, that that would be different from what I normally did. I'm still making a profit this month. Um, in my okay. opinion, monthly challenges are meant to be something that should not that in my opinion, you're not going to be able to do regularly on a recurring. The average player is not going to be doing it regularly on recurring. Yep. Um, yep. It's something I plan to do once in December and I might not even touch it until June after that. Uh, trying least. to modify your behavior right or doing right. pushing you to do more of these different well, things because you'll get yeah. an award reward for it well, well let's let's look at this for for serious though like with the the amp right like i have a choice of where i'm going to dinner am i going to go to chipotle or am i going to moe's well moe's is a atlas earth partner so i'm going to go there i'm gonna get my atlas bucks get my credit for that and uh you know i was going to go out and eat it either one of those anyway so what's it to me i just went to mo's instead what what do i care right yeah, they're about and, the same price and, and in my so. in my case if i want a good turkey bacon club sandwich am i going to go to an atlas earth partner like salad works or i'm going to go to subway well i'm going to go to yeah. salad works because of the four atlas bucks a dollar actually even without the four atlas bucks a dollar i'm still going to salad yeah. works but <laughs> besides that's, the point. that's a minor behavioral <laughs> yeah. change right that doesn't that's nothing really outside the norm to me yeah. it's like i was going to make the choice anyway so now i'm choosing in their favor and if yeah, that's exactly. all that happens from this they win right yeah. if that's all that happens i, I did mean, the same exact thing i was yeah, going right. to take my wife out anyway so i took her to one that had that was on the amp program right of course why not yeah. Wife yeah. and I are going to Annie Ann's uh, for uh, December date to Auntie Ann's. Yeah, Auntie Ann's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, I think the point is still valid. The val um, it, it's definitely true that this. Uh, I'd like to see the numbers from their point of view. Uh, obviously, they're not going to reveal yeah. them, but. Uh, obviously, this challenge system was brought into effect to make people do more things and also break up your um standard um standard approach so in other words uh he he doesn't want to admit it but they uh like uh, from a business point of view you would like to see money flow and whatever uh flow on a more regular basis in other words instead of having people uh you know wait for full tear jumps and then you know buy all those parcels at one time uh just in one example um for the buy parcel tiers, it forces people to break those up and buy those more uh, frequently. Same with badges. Um, and as far as the other challenges goes, it encourages everybody to go out and use the AMP program. Do I use the AMP program? Yes, I do. But this program really kind of nudged me to use it more, especially with this last one where I had to get six. Uh, I think that's the third um, third tier to, to get through it. Um, would I say that I uh, deviated my usual uh, um, behavior? Yeah, I would. I, I would say it was normal behavior, but I put more effort into it, especially in the um, the mini game situation. Usually, and I, I still, I, I, I admit it, I hate mini games. I know it's just <laughs> it is a uh, it's 
due to whatever, uh, me being a poor player, whatever you're going to say, I, I don't like them. Um, now, I will, I will say that I found that I, can, I could stomach and get through the first two tiers on a monthly basis and be fine with it. Um, but that third tier, like especially we were, I was playing, uh, was it uh, golf? It was golf last night. Uh, I was just banging my head against the wall trying to get th that last win I needed. So uh, I did deviate my usual behavior and I started playing these mini games, which they also wanted to see. Obviously, it makes the, the pot bigger. So. Right. Speaking of that pot, by the way, <laughs> thank you very uh, much for uh, contributing. Uh, humble, <laughs> humble branding time. <laughs> Thank you for the contribution, Bronze. <laughs> yeah. Thank well, you. I got my challenge done. <laughs> Have you, were, did you watch my videos where I take people through and uh, explain how to play the games? Uh, yeah, watch? but I guess it's just um, reflexes. <laughs> I guess that's it. <laughs> yeah, well, these are all timing games, and I, I've, yeah. we've said it time and time again that, that that's got to change. The, yeah. <laughs> there's got to be a different style of game. And no... Rock paper scissors is not the, the answer. Yeah, rock paper they're gonna, scissors. They're going to do that, by the way. Rock paper I know scissors. they are, and rock, I'm telling you, it's not the answer. I am about 60, 70 percent confident. Rock paper scissors is going to be a timing game. Very probably yeah. something similar to like bowling and golf. Let me show you my shocked face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure. J just like you know, one third rock, one third paper, one third scissors. And you got to overtake the what the the signal you see or something like that. That's what I'm thinking it might end up being, but that's just my yeah. It's a rabbit hole, man. Oh, yeah. that's a rabbit. Hole. But um, but okay. So that was the first issue was it being uh, pay to win. Which, by the way, I want people. In, uh, one more thing I want to talk about with the pay to win thing too. Um, I think people got to realize Atlas Earth is a business, like Bron said, and they have to make themselves more attractive to vendors. Okay, it's not like I'm sorry, Bronze Web three in a sense. Uh, oh. It got the stream back. You want me to put the stream back on, AJ? Yeah, I'm going to put it back on because I okay. wanted to show what yeah. I had a problem with. Yeah, so so it's not like so it's not like you know they gotta they rely with their money off of vendors who find what they're doing attractive. So to make themselves look more attractive, they do things like this. It's not so much pay to win, but as AJ said. It is simply just changing your habits a little bit to more Atlas favored brands so that other brands look at this and be like, oh, wow, actually, this is great. I should probably get in on it. You know how badly I would love Texas Roadhouse or Logan's Roadhouse to get into uh, into yeah. the AM program? You know how much more often uh, my wife and I would be uh, eating at Logan's if they <laughs> or how much more we'd be buying bread rolls from them at 549 right. a pack? So, so speaking with Manning, he he said repeatedly that that these main things like the amp stuff and the surveys and the arcade is where they make their money, right? Mm -hmm. This is okay. where their business not only survives, it thrives. It it right. survives on the ads. This is where it thrives. So them putting more emphasis on coming back and doing these things over and over again only helps the company get more profitable and continue to put more things like this in. And here's yeah. where this challenge um, program was actually targeted to. Um, and, cause, and Manning's actually talked about this. This whole program was targeted to get those free-to-play players to get them more involved. Besides yeah. just logging in and watching that 2AB ad, let's let's just throw it out. Let's just face it. Wa get, logging in just to watch ads makes them very little revenue. So, very little. So, if they can get that free-to-play player to, to, to log in and then maybe do a survey, every time you complete a survey and you get rewarded for it, they're getting cash money on the back end because all of us here, at least at least I know three of us here do, we do other beer money apps where surveys, where we get paid money for surveys. Right. Well, that money, instead of going to us, is going to them, and they're rewarding us Atlas Bucks instead. So if they can get those free-to-play players to do stuff like that or to do the arcade, you're technically still free to play, but now that 
cash reward, which we would see in other apps, is going to Atlas Earth. And that's and I and LeBron's is I, LeBron's brought up a good point. I would love to see because this is this challenge system has really had to have taken off their revenues. Their revenues had to skyrocket. Oh yeah, because you've seen people play in the arcade. You've seen people doing the the surveys. We've seen the huge impact it made in the mini games, which doesn't add a ton of revenue on their end, but it get it draws more people to the app, um, which helps them a, as well. So uh, this arc, this challenge system has been an absolute win from their point of yeah, view. Yeah, and if and even if you don't, you're still making easy. I would say at least thirty to fifty Atlas bucks at minimum this month. That's thirty to fifty Atlas bucks more than what you would have had. Win, win, win all around. This was an absolute winner in my opinion. So, so what I, I want to focus in on is all the stuff that they're making their money from is still fairly new to Atlas Earth. For the longest while with Atlas Earth, the only thing you could do was log in and watch ads and buy parcels. That was it. And even in the beginning, you couldn't even watch ads, right? You couldn't, you couldn't mm-hmm. even do that. You just went in and bought parcels right? yeah. with real money. Uh, so all the stuff that they're pushing you to, for most of the free to, free to play p- players, especially the long term ones that have been doing it for so long, that that's all there was to do. So they're trying to get that engagement in other parts of the apps that are still fairly new to the app. Last year or so, uh, a lot of this stuff is is b- been brought in. Uh, last Christmas. Uh, Hardly any of this was available. The only really mini game available was uh, racer and I think fishing at that point as well. Uh, very, very little. Uh, so a lot of this is still brand new, and they want that engagement and all for it. Yeah. Um, the second major issue that everyone was having, uh, I thought this one was a little bit more frequent early on, but not so much uh, as the month has went on, is the gating of the challenges. So. Instead of like having everything show up at once, like many of these, and I've been in games where they have uh, season passes like this before as well. And um, unlike uh, a lot of those, and I, I guess some of the apps too have that same issue, but a lot of people weren't expecting it to be gated. That it was already hard enough as it was if you just put everything out in the open, but setting it up so that way it's just like 10 active challenges. And that if you can't do, especially when a lot of them were were uh, mini games that wouldn't show up except for a certain time of the day. Yeah, I games really blocked. Yeah, um, really kept us from seeing some of the other challenges that are out there. And right. that's so, something I was hoping they I'm hoping that they will fix because I'm sitting there waiting for that survey level mission to pop up. I'm not doing surveys. I am not doing a single. I'm not doing a single arcade game until that mission pops up. I'm not doing a single survey until that uh, mission pops up. And then next month, I plan on traveling. I'm probably going to wait to do to make my reservations until I see those. And that that stuff that's just kind of costing them a little bit because I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that mission to pop up on my challenge list. So the mini and they said they're going to resequence some of the stuff. I'll be interesting to see how that looks. Um, I do want to share with everybody a little tip that I discovered on accident with the mini games. There was a way to get the way they set up their algorithms um, for mini games. They set it up to automatically grab the, the the very next mini game if you didn't have it on your list already. It was gonna as you completed that that that, that first level, it was gonna grab you the next level of the next game. If you didn't have it on your list, what I discovered was, and I discovered it kind of on accident, is if you finish level one, so say on Sunday, I think bowling is on Sunday. um, Say you finish level one on on Sunday, go in and do another mission, complete another mission. I don't care if it's just buy one parcel, if it's buy one, whatever, the easiest one, that will automatically kick to you level two. Because it's the next mini game in order, and you're still in the, the that event is still going on, so that's the event it's going to give you. I was able to knock out two levels at a time on every mini game event. That freed me up. By the twentieth, they were all gone. That freed me up then to do any mission I wanted to. I had them all available to me. If I wanted to do an AMP, I wanted to do a survey, whatever. That it became work. A, uh, it, it became available to me. That's good Let me just say they are one. One other thing before I pass this off is 
they may change that. So that yeah. loophole may close next month because they did mention they're going to change some of the um, some of the sequencing and stuff like that. But try it on Sunday. Finish level one or whatever that mini game event is. Do another. Mi- keep your missions. Don't do any of them. That that Sunday is the very first day of December. Right. Don't yeah. do any of your missions until after you complete level one of that uh, of that mini game. Try it. That See first that mini game's on Tuesday. Oh, uh, well, there's actually the one on the Sunday, right? Yeah, there's yeah, you're Sunday. Right. Yep. Yeah, bowling. Fair, fair enough. I think, I think I stumbled upon that on accident. The last warship we had, I was trying to go through and do that challenge, which was like level two. And I'm then sorry. I completed that. Ch- <laughs> I'm sorry, Bronze. Worship, he's just named Worship. <laughs> None of us like Worship. Okay. Well, uh, the point is, I think I stumbled upon that on accident. I completed level two of Worship. And then after I completed level two, level three automatically populated. And I went ahead and completed level three as well. So I was able to do two levels during one uh, set of worship. I discovered it in the very second event of the month that was uh, fishing. That was on a Tuesday. I went in and I, you guys know I hate fishing. Um, so I went in and just did level one. And then I was looking to do other missions. I think I went in and completed the survey mission. I completed the survey mission. Then I looked back at my mission list. There's level two fishing. Well, shoot. I might as well go back in and do level two because the event was still going on. Yeah. So I did. After that, after I did that, I got two missions or two levels at a time. So the next mission, I think, was was it worship? Was it worship or golf? Yeah. I, I did level one. Level two automatically populated after I did level one. I didn't even have to go in and do a different mission. It just automatically after I did it that one. T- Same thing happened to Cece, who's on our channel. She mm-hmm. did it in bowling. And finished both of them, and then she was able to complete all of the mini games. If you can complete two levels at once in one event, that'll free up the end of your the end of your month. So, I'm, I'm going to talk about like in the beginning, I was I was incredibly concerned about the gating, like incredibly concerned. Um, but then I thought about it that that they'd have to have had it set out in a way where it would have been possible to complete all the the mini games uh, in in the order that they oh. did. So then I, I got less worried about that. So basically, I didn't change the way I did anything uh, throughout the month, except for when AMP missions came up, I, I took advantage of that, or when surveys came up, I did the surveys. Um, so basically, I didn't go outside what would be considered the standard norm. Um, of what was available. Uh, some things I couldn't do, like buy the state badges and whatnot, I couldn't do because there are no states around me where I could do that, or I didn't book travel. But so here we are. We're three days from the end, three and a half days from the end, and I'm about, nah, I'm less than 300 points away uh, from doing it. I have I have attainable goals that I can still do all these things. Like I, I, I can finish my arc- arcade. You guys can see I only have one arcade uh, goal left to reach. Uh, I, I have these super rent boost, uh, that I can do that's points. And I've got the, the warship that I can do and that's points. And, um, I might do them. Uh, I might do the surveys. I think I need to do one other thing besides those to complete it, but I wanted to see what else would come up after, uh, I completed some of these other ones to, to see what I wanted to focus on. I could complete the 25 surveys in three days. It's not ideal, but I can do it. Um, so all in all, I like. I think that if you just, I, I call myself uh, um, aggressively casual in this. Um, I, I'm going to do them, whatever comes up and is available. I'm not going to try and find those loopholes. I mean, I mean, if I happen to stumble upon one where I can do it, then maybe. But I, I'm not going to go searching for that. But still, at the same time, I'm able to complete it. Like I still didn't even do the the buy forty uh, parcels, which I can use, which I could do, or whatever. Um, so there's all these things that that still can be done to help me achieve these these this goal in time without having to be kind of crazy about it. Yeah, but uh, oh, go ahead. <laughs> I was gonna say, but there is one thing I hate. Right? Is there the where they had the the rent boost, the non super ramp boost boosting uh there are a lot of people i know that are unable to complete this because it occurred so late in the gate uh the gated ladder uh that we couldn't can't get to it and i was pretty like i said pretty aggressively casual with it and still 
I'm going to be short like 50 hours to complete this yeah. uh, th- that that particular challenge, and yeah. that's bad. That's bad factoring to me. All right, that's it. Two hour, two hundred hours. That takes eight point three days to do. Two hundred hours. Yeah, it's eight point. It's eight point three three days. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's eight point yeah. three three. It is, and that's. You know, and it's easier for me because I've got the the um, the Explorers Club. Like for the people that don't have the Explorers Club, this is nearly impossible. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, I'm. I, I think of the challenges I got left. I have uh, that I can still do. Um, first off, I did go back and check. I actually did hit level eight uh, last night. So my bad on that one. But oh, cool. um, more more extra Atlas books. Yeah, of the ones that I can still do. Uh, I could probably convert three dollars, but again, saving that for December. Um, and the super rent boost, so I'm pretty much done. Um, yeah, and and that's the that's the other thing I'm trying to explain to everyone too. It's like I don't entirely, and I hate to say because I know, look, I'm I'm the guy that's the miser here i'm supposed to be the miser here. i'm supposed to teach you how to get the most out of it without having to spend any money or at least any extra money that you normally would how is this these challenges and try and as aj said changing your behavior any different from you know look at the beer money review i did on top cashback as an example how would that be any different than me deciding instead of going to amazon to get my vitamins i'm going to vita cost to get my vitamins because it's giving me an ex- uh, a little bit more cash back, and after comparing, uh, comparing and contrasting, I'm actually saving money by going to VitaCost doing this. Like I, I don't understand I, I, the difference. I, I'm buying my oil from what is it, Advanced Auto instead of Walmart, right. which is where I was doing it. Right. right. I, I I guess it depends on how much you value an Atlas Buck as well, but like. Eventually, the other thing with that Atlas Buck is it's eventually going to turn into a parcel that will give you recurring income. Now, how much that recurring income is going to be, you know, that, that we can talk about that down the line. But as far as I see it, like, and then even if you don't do anything, you're still getting extra Atlas Bucks. Literally not even changing anything about it. I didn't even need to invest that $1, reinvest that $1. I would have gotten 5 15 27 39 plus 45 is um, 84. Yeah, 84 Atlas Bucks and six diamonds. That would give me an average of about, you know, a little under two. So you could say 10 Atlas Bucks. So I got almost a parcel worth this month. By the way, I value diamonds as nothing. I know that's controversial, but to me, diamonds are nothing. Uh, that That's yeah. not a thing to me. <laughs> All right, well, I value them as at least one Atlas Buck. Uh, the expected value average is a little under two, but that's that's just me. Uh, but it's nothing until you wheel spin, and and gosh, diamonds are everywhere. So, you know, I hand my phone to my kid and say, "Here, get diamonds while I drive," and yep. uh, that's it. <laughs> I don't have to do it again for the rest of the month. All right. Um. So, uh, so, so that's my final thoughts on this. How about the rest of y'all? Well, as far as gating goes, uh, I was probably like with the rest of the crowd at first, I was like, oh, man, this is terrible. Um, And I can see it both ways because I see the gating uh, from the business point of view in that the gating of the challenges forces people to take part in the challenges that they would not normally like right. it forced me really to take part in the mini games, which I normally wouldn't. So I could clear them and rotate in a new challenge, which I would do logically. So uh, I can see from that perspective. Uh, I also see the point on, uh, like I said, I'm at the end as well, as far as uh, doing the, uh, doing the, I'm blowing uh I'm pulling up my phone here. Doing the boosts, uh, I'll be able to do the SRB boost, but there's no way I'm going to be able to do the normal boost to clear the final tier. Um, I'm at this point uh, just thinking to myself, should I actually go ahead and backfill with the $15 subscription to actually pull in all those Atlas bucks? So, um, And I'm actually contemplating I'm on the 40 by 40 uh, parcels. Should I bust tier? 
and go ahead and buy those 40 tiers to kick or 40 parcels to kick myself over that last. Uh, I won't be able to complete the full challenge, but I'll be able to get that last 60 uh, Atlas bucks. So that's where I'm sitting. My final words on this is I, I everybody seems focused on the rewards of the challenges. What a lot of people miss is all the extra Atlas bucks. This challenge system is kind of made, not made, but gotten you to do. I'm going to be the first to admit I'm kind of a lazy player. Um, I, I Surveys, I wasn't doing them because I got tired of getting disqualified for it. And plus, I'm in other apps where I get paid money to to do these surveys. So I had no motivation to do surveys. I did them once in a while when I was bored. Arcade, I did, you know, once in a while when they had the, the arcade promo going on. But I'm going to tell you, since they put this challenge system in place, my Atlas Bucks has grown considerably. Not only has it forced me to, uh, not forced me, but gotten me motivated to do these surveys, which is paying me Atlas Bucks. It's motivating me to do Arcade, which is paying me Atlas Bucks, which, by the way, I've got a bunch of tasks just ready to be completed once December hits. So I'm all ready to go there. Yeah, that's where, that's where I'm currently at, too. I'm um, going to stage, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But not yeah. only that, but it's gotten me to play uh, mini games that I absolutely hated. Uh, AJ, you yeah. can test to this, the Warship. Uh, I couldn't stand well, you it. You got better then, at it. You got better at it. I got on. It, it made me figure it out. Figure out a mm -hmm. way to at least hit top 500. And, well, those were extra Atlas bucks that I didn't get before. And on top of that, the whole challenge system has made a t has gotten a ton of people. I, playing I do want to make a games. note. So, I, I do want to make a note regarding the mini games too. That uh, I finished third in that racer test. Shane beat me in racer. All right, that's how much he's, right, he has progressed in that. Yeah, he has beat. He was one and zero against me. So I just want so to that. win. Take the win. <laughs> and I see so many people complaining about these challenges, and I understand there. There's been some struggles with it. Hopefully, they'll fix a lot of it. But boy, look at all the Atlas bucks that we've gotten. Out of it, the, the mini game regular players, they're now getting rewarded much more than what they were before. Yeah. Um, I finished top 25 in like a like a golf one or something. Oh my goodness, the Atlas Buck reward was much larger than it was before. So, add all these things together this is a huge win. Do they need to tweak some things? Yeah, they do, and it sounds like they are. Um, but at the end of the day, you don't even have to pay money for it. If you don't want to, just do the free site. You're going to get, they're, they're handing you extra Atlas bucks for normal things in the game. Yeah. I, and, and that's where Pharaoh's play comes in, right? He, he was just in normal. He's walking out with free Atlas bucks. I'm walking out right? with almost a parcel's worth. Like, like almost and a I love, parcel. And I love Bronze's uh, theory where he, he's doing the month and then he's evaluating it. Granted, you have to pay an extra five bucks. You can't get it on the, but. Why? That's great. Fifteen. They allow you to do that. They allow you to pay the fifteen dollars at the end of the month, and then you get all of those rewards. Well, kind I was of kind of approach. forced into that situation, not to cut you off, but, <laughs> but it's a neat approach, though. It's it's great approach for those that are kind of hesitant on it and didn't like how November went. It gives them the opportunity. To, okay, let's just see how December goes, and then at the end, okay, you're granted you're paying an extra five bucks, but maybe it's worth it to them. Well, if you're going to yeah. match the rate of the Explorer Club, you actually have to get to Bronze's level, which uh, and AJ's, they're in the same level, um, to get uh, to get this to get the best bang for your buck with the challenges. So it is quite a ways down. I definitely would not do it myself right now. Um, I'm waiting for December, and I'm just going for gold for that one. Uh, but, yeah. Bronze, I'm 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 intrigued are you paying for december in advance or are you gonna in advance again? i i do uh, not at, care at, oh sorry at this point i don't think i'm going to pay for december i think that huh. to one of the previous points we talked about i think i expended um all my energy and everything i had in november so i'm trying to make the best use of that i don't think that i'm going to get half as many um uh levels of the challenge completed in december so that's why i was contemplating now originally i tried to subscribe uh for november but i was on that last day where he turned uh, around and he said oh uh it's too late you had to subscribe by what six o'clock this morning or something like that 
and I turned around and I turned it off. So, but at this point, I went through and I spent so many Atlas bucks and so much time on this uh, challenge system this month. I just wanted to try to get the most out of it because I feel that in December, I won't get half as much because I don't plan on doing like this month. I did a triple tier jump, you know, so. And I'm actually going to yeah, be. But there's ways to do it without the parcel <laughs> jumps and stuff like that, though. And that's what I, I, I think you can do that without um, going crazy. Just like focus on the amp and the games and the surveys. Uh, you're going to get pretty far on that. Yep, you can. Yeah, I'm actually. I was originally planning on using this as using the um, challenges as a way to catapult myself into 2,000 parcels. Uh, this was before I won the golf mini game last night. So now it's almost irrelevant, but um, I'm still going to, you know, I'm still going to show like, okay, I'm going to try to, with the monthly pass, I'm going to try to spend as little as possible and see what output I can get from it. And if I can get to the LPU and then I'm going to relay that back to everyone in the year end review that will be coming in January 1st so that, or maybe I'll put in a separate video um, and that will give people like ideas as to like, okay, where's the best places where, you know, you're spending the least on and stuff like that. So one other thing that's worth bringing up too, um, for those that are not wanting to do AMP or, you know, the, the pay the play, I think you mentioned, Yes. if you guys aren't wanting to do that, keep in mind, they have added racer back into the rotation for December. If they don't tweak those mini game points, that's going to be an extra 135 points. That'll be available to you just from them adding racer to the rotation. Yeah, Again, be... I'm assuming a lot here. I'm assuming they're keeping the levels and the, you know, the yeah. points all the same here. But yeah, still that'll be keep the that in mind. That'll be December right. eighth. December eighth is when they're bringing back racer. Yeah, yep. you you do assume that they're not changing the end uh, the the, <laughs> the goalposts at that point. I expect nope. several things to change in December. Oh, what do you yeah. what are you expecting to change for December? Well, yeah. I uh, obviously these are the items that uh, the items that are in the challenges are stuff that's in the game. So obviously those probably won't change. But I think that the goalposts, the amount of points earned per the uh, numbers required to pass each step of the challenge will change. And he's already said it at the very beginning. He said, hey, this stuff is going to change. We're going to take a look at the numbers, see how it performed. Stu some stuff is going to work. Some stuff is not going to work. And they're going to tweak it. So that's why I was very clear when I, I've done a few videos on this. It's like, expect these things to change, right? So... He did mention fair, that yeah. they're changing the order uh -huh. and some of the 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 challenge level. I, I like take the boost one for example. I think it's going to come down from two hundred hours that level four. Yeah. I expect it to come in like one hundred and fifty hours, and they're going to look to release it earlier so that way people will actually have a chance to do it. Those right. are the type of changes I'm expecting to see. Well, well to me, is either one or the other. You may either make one hundred fifty or you release it earlier. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> if it were one hundred fifty, I could have done it. I can't. I can't do it. J just a final question then. Do you think that? Do you think this challenge this month was too easy, too hard? Um, this month was a little a little too okay. hard, um, I think, especially for those that were already at 101 badges. Um, although Manning says, even though we hear from a lot of those play players on the Discord, he said it's a low percentage of players um, that actually have 101 badges. I agree but with for that. those players that made it really inconvenient for... Um, and if you're not doing the mini games, it's very, I, I think it was very challenging, even though I finished it by the 20th, it was a challenge and I did had to do some things to get there. Um, hopefully it'll be a little easier in December. All right. Um, um, my, my opinion as an aggressively casual player is, is it's going to come down to the last day. Um, pretty much spot on for me. And you know, is that too hard? Is that too easy? Or is it just right? Uh, it's probably just slightly too hard. Um, I, I a few things where they changed the order of stuff would have made things a little easier and, and able to be accomplished. But besides that, um, it's not terribly far off uh, from what I thought it was going to be in the beginning. Uh, bronze? I, I agree with that. I think that uh, it is probably to err on the side of a little bit difficult. Um, but at the root of it, I mean, uh, our my overall uh, opinion of it is it's like you can get a bunch of free Atlas bucks, even if you just 
moderately change or not even change your how you play very much maybe just a little bit you can rake in and that's atlas bucks you didn't have in the first place so oh. and i will warn people if you're going to subscribe for the 9.99 for next month do it before the last day of the month <laughs> yep. I think Friday. They actually gave you plenty of advice. Uh, they gave advance notice on that 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 was going to be a cutoff. So they they did they did say that. That's interesting because I didn't see anything about that. So was it Friday? I forget. I, I remember somewhere it Saturday. Got mentioned. Maybe Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I they are giving until the last day. Well, well, that's what it was last time. Was um, it was uh, they gave you until like the second to last day. So actually, no. Friday would be the Friday would be the deadline. Saturday is when the payments will go out. Yeah, I'm I'm so. pretty sure, but just in case, I would suggest like if you're gonna make your decision, do it by like Friday. tonight or Thursday, um, just yeah. to be safe. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's pretty much the video, everyone. Uh, thank you, AJ Bronze Dragon and Shane Kelly for being here. I'm hoping that we'll all be gathering around again too for Beer Money Mania. Uh, come February, the selection show. Uh, should we do a pre-selection show? Should we talk about like ones that we uh, games that we like? Like especially since Bronze can introduce some some Web three apps that he thinks might could qualify for something like this, other than Atlas Earth. Although I know I, I know for yeah, you, Bronze. Show me. Yeah, for Bronze, uh, Web three is a little bit of a different animal in that. And we talked about this too in your interview. It's not so much about just making money with Web3, but if there's some out there, love to hear from you. Yeah, it's a completely different, uh, it's a completely different animal because to your point, yeah. um, a lot of these uh, things that we do like uh, Atlas Earth and um, other platforms are based upon marketing, let's face it, right? right? And the marketing money goes into the company, and then the company feeds us back a little bit more. Now, uh, Web3 games work completely opposite, uh, completely different, whereas the money comes in from the investors or the players, so to speak. So if I bring up, uh, talk about Web3 games, a lot of times it's going to be from the play aspect, not from the money aspect, right. because every single time I talk about it, you're going to turn around and say, well, you have to spend money on it. Yeah, that's how it works. Well, Bronze, you will have a couple of months to uh, probably re do some research if you want to bring anything in there. I mean, you know, we got we got plenty of time for that. In the meantime, everyone, I have linked everyone's channels except for uh, Shane Kelly's. I added his free cash referral link in the description below. Sign up for free cash. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, um, <laughs> uh, unless uh, unless you want to know more about Wapsie Valley Athletics, uh, I think they moved to Huddle, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you want to listen to me talk some more, no. Just use, use my free cash. He's a great. He, he, cash, he's please. a great. He's a great announcer. Just just letting you know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, um, and uh, and yeah, uh, don't forget to uh, like, comment on this video. Your thoughts on the challenges, and also don't forget to subscribe to all our channels except for Shane's. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, we will see you all next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.